everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm going to keep this super short. We're going to be doing another declutter in today's video. So this one's going to be just a little bit of random ones. So we have powder, we have lip liners, eyeliners, mascaras, and brushes. I thought I would kind of just put all the little random categories together in one video. It's going to be a long one, so sit tight. With all that being said, if you like declutter videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I do upload videos twice a week. And with all that, let's just get started decluttering all this stuff. Okay, let's just get started with powder. So we are starting with 25 and let's see how many of these we're gonna declutter because I don't know if it's gonna be that many. And okay, let's go. These two square ones. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in light. I really dislike this packaging. It's so messy. This was talked about on YouTube for quite a while and it's not a bad product. Just for whatever reason, I don't reach for it. And so I'm gonna declutter it. I think I can just get rid of this one. There's other powders that I prefer over this. One of them is this Huda Beauty one. So this is in the shade Pound Cake. And I like that it has a top on it with the mesh. It's just so much cleaner. I really, really appreciate the extra mile. I get it. You know, you're paying more for this, less for this. However, I'm still going to pick this over that. I just prefer this. And I don't have too many powders like this that are just a lot thicker in consistency. This is a really just, it's a thick powder. It's brightening. I tend to kind of just do a light dusting of powder. I don't necessarily bake or set. However, this is really great for when I want to do that. So it is going to stay. This Jaclyn Hill one, this is in carrots. It's a luminous powder. I for some reason that this is opened, but I don't remember ever using it. So maybe I just swatched it. This doesn't really seem like my jam. Like I don't see how this is a face powder. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot because I don't even remember testing it. However, I can definitely see myself probably decluttering this in the near future. Just for now, it's going to stay. I kind of want to get through all the loose powders first. Let's do these two. I have the Hourglass. This is the Veil Setting Powder. Again, great sifter. It's just so much cleaner. It's definitely pretty translucent. I love this powder. I, I mean, I feel like I should be almost done with it, but it looks like it's only halfway done. I don't know. It's hard to tell with, with loose setting powders, but I use, this is probably my most used loose powder. And for some reason it's still, it's still going strong. So I just, I'm a pretty light handed person with makeup in general, but with powder especially. So it just takes me a long time to go through these. This is going to stay. The Cody Airspun. This has been this has been around since 1935. It is very just, I mean, this is not, this is talked about so much. I have these little cotton pads in here to stop it from being just messy. If you don't like fragrance, stay far away from this. I, this is a good powder. I just don't reach for it. Again, it's heavily fragranced. It smells like baby powder. It's not bad, it's just, uh, if you're sensitive to that, I'd just be very careful. I do wanna keep this because I find it just to be a staple product in just the makeup community. It's been around for so long. It's I think, like one of the oldest makeup products ever. So I am gonna keep it. It just, it has special memories for me. It's not very expensive, but I don't think, I think it's probably hard to find in Europe. So just because of that, I'm gonna hang on to it. I have two of these Lancome Absolute Powders. Ooh, do I have to do that every single time? 
So one is in an absolute pearl and one is in absolute ecru light. One of these isn't even opened. This one is open. So ecru light is opened and I'm gonna hang on to this. This is gonna go on the same par as the Jaclyn Hill one. I wanna say that she mimicked her powder over this. So I am gonna hang on to this one. However, this Absolute Pearl, this one is not even opened, so I think that I can get rid of it. I don't know why I have two shades in it. Hopefully it's not because this one was like too dark, so I decided to get this one. I'm not sure, but keeping, letting go. I have a few more loose ones here. So we have the Too Faced, this is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I actually like this a lot. Again, just like with the flip lid, it makes it clean. I use this quite a bit before I got the hourglass. Like this was my powder. So I think I just need to revisit it, give it some more love. It's going to stay. And then this Becca one, I have it in a full size and a little travel size. So this is the Hydromist Set and Refresh Powder. It's supposed to have like so much water in it. I mean, I know it dries out and this probably has. I like the mesh, but I've used this pretty recently and it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I never really hated this. It's just there's better ones out there. I definitely want to keep it and get my money's worth. This one is opened. I just know that this one is not opened because I was trying to go through the small one first. So yeah, I'm gonna hang on to both. Then this one is the RCMA No Color Powder. I just had this in a Shop My Stash. This is great. The only you know con, if you hear anyone talking about this, is the packaging. It's terrible. It you know, it just has like this flip lid, so it's really hard to work with. I don't use that lid. I just shake it like this and I work, I unscrew the top. I work from the lid like that. That just works better for me, but I've used this quite a bit and look, it's like it barely even looks used. So I'm going to hang on to this. I like this a lot. It's going to stay. Let's do these little minis. These two kind of go together. Nope, these two. So this is the By Terry. They're the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. So I have it in pressed form. Here comes my dog to say hi. I have it in the pressed form in a little mini. Hello, Eris. What are you thinking? Oh, you don't like that? You don't like that? You're very cute. And then we have the loose powder. I haven't even used the loose one yet. I've only used the press one. So I'm gonna keep both of them, especially because they're small. And I might even repurchase this pressed one. I do really, really like it for the under eye. I don't know if I like it as much as my Charlotte Tilbury. So I've used this up almost all the way. I am so proud of myself. I can't even believe it. I haven't. I mean, I don't think I've ever like finished up an entire product like this. So that'd be a huge feat for me. I know a lot of people finish these up. The pants pretty small, but I'm still going to be proud of myself because it's a feat for me. And that's what matters. She is going to find something to destroy. She's been like on a cardboard kick of destroying cardboard. She's going to find an empty box. Okay, she decided to go in the other room, find something to destroy. The last loose powder I have is just a mini of the Fenty Beauty in butter. I've only used this once so far in a Shop My Stash, but I did really like it. I do plan, I really want to try the lavender one, but I don't think that they have it in a mini. And I just, it takes me so long to go through powder. I don't really want to buy like a full size. I really like these small ones. But oh well, that's gonna stay. Okay, we just have pressed powders left. And we're gonna try and breeze through because we still have a lot more to declutter. Um, let's do these two, these three. So all three of these, this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty in 04 Light Medium. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Breezy. 
looks like this. A glowish one looks like this. And the Jouer Soft Focus Hydra and Set Powder in Light looks like this. All three of these I've only tried once in a trying new makeup. So all three of these are going to stay because I just want to get some more thoughts gathered on them and just decide how I feel. Especially this Kosas one was kind of, it was rough. I can link that video up above if you want to check that out. So I really want to do like a wrap up thought of just products that I've tried. So again, once I can test these out a little bit more, I will do that, but for now they're going to stay. And I've only decluttered two so far, so let's pull some ones that I know I'm gonna declutter. This NYX one, the HD Finishing Powder in Banana, I bought this and I swear I've never used it. It's like YouTube convinced me that I needed this banana powder and I never, I never reach for it. It's just not something that I use in my routine. It's not something that I like. So it's going to go. The Laura Geller, this is the Color Optics Color Correcting Finishing Powder. I really like Laura Geller as a brand, but again, like this, this product, I just don't reach for. It's not something that, like it kind of, I don't know if you can tell when it says color correcting, it has like little purple and green and then peach dots in there. It's just, I don't like this. Love Laura Geller. I think she's an underrated brand. I'm sad that they pulled her from Ulta, but I don't reach for this. This can go. Here we have another one I'm super proud of. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And I've also, I just recently hit pan in this. I love this powder so much. I, this is kind of unique to me, but what I use this powder for is to set right on the bridge of my nose where my glasses kind of rest. I find that it really mattifies and sets down and it just helps with my foundation not breaking apart. I know that sounds dumb, but like that's what I use it for. I love it for that. It works perfect and I plan on finishing this up all the way. Here we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I don't think this has a shade. I, you can see how much I have just scratched away at this. I really like this powder. The problem is for some reason I can like never get it to pick up on me. Like right now it's swatching well. I don't know if I need a heavier brush with it or something. But when I use this, I'm always just, I like feel like I always have to scratch away at it. And I don't know if anyone else has that problem. Let me know in the comments, but I don't know. I kind of just feel like I'm over this. Like if I want, if I really just like want to try this again, I think that maybe I just need to get a new one and see if the one I have is just too old. So I'm going to declutter it. Three more um this one's very new to me i didn't get this that long ago this is the guerlain terracotta nude universal powder the nude glow powder bare skin effect long lasting so it only comes in one shade i was kind of intrigued on ulta i hate when they don't fold all the way it really bothers me this is interesting I do really like this a lot when you swatch it it kind of gives like a very light pink tint I don't know why they call this universal like I can't see this working on darker skin tones or even you know really really pale skin tones I have a feeling it's kind of supposed to be like an hourglass type finishing product where you know hourglass has that one that has like a pink hue to it I think that it's supposed to kind of mimic that. I like this one so much better, so it's gonna stay. And then it kind of lets us segue perfectly into this product. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. So I got this because back when like Jaclyn Hill wasn't so problematic, she recommended this. And I didn't know enough about Hourglass products 
and this is just not the one that I would go for. This one is just really, really almost glittery. I put this on my face and I feel like I have sparkles all over. I would much prefer one that had just like a softer sheen. I should have looked at the different shades more. I am glad that I got a mini because of that because Hourglass is a very pricey brand. So at least I didn't waste too much money, but this is for sure gonna go because I just, I don't reach for this at all. I have a ton of those Hourglass six pan holiday palettes. So hopefully I can find one that I like from there. But as far as this one goes, this, this is just not it. And last but not least is this Laura Mercier powder. This is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in shade one. This is what I wish the Hourglass would be. It's, it gives you, I mean, it's the perfect name. I mean, I just have powder on powder, so it's kind of hard to see what this looks like. I haven't wiped it off. It gives just like this filtered look to your skin. It is so stunning. It doesn't have glitter to it. Your skin just looks, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like it, like you have a filter on. I love this so much. I wish that you could see more use in it because I do use it quite a bit. This is 100% going to stay. This is the last one that we have. So let's clean up, add up these numbers and speed through me putting these all back. Okay, here's what we're looking like. I was able to lay all these flat final numbers. So we are keeping 19 and decluttering six. I don't think that that's too bad. I, I mean, when you look at it numbers wise, it's not great. However, I'm happy with this. It fits on one level. I didn't have to double stack anything except for this Becca one, but since it's the same product, it's fine. We're gonna find homes for these other products so they can get some use out of them. And let's move on to the next category. All right, here are my lip liners. So I usually, I keep all my lip liners in this little container that I got from Refer. It's connected to my brushes. So that's where these kind of just live. I have 30 lip liners. So that is our starting number. We're just gonna go. I uh, I think I wanna get at least half these done. We're gonna see how far we get because my dog is in a very playful mood. We will not be decluttering sponges because she decided to declutter it all on her own. So that, <laughs> that was decided for me. I had no choice in the matter. It's my fault for putting it on the floor. I do all my declutters on the floor here, so. I have no one to blame but myself, but at least she's having a great time. Should we do this by brand? Probably. Let's do the Lisa Eldridge ones first. So I have the shades Blush Lightly and Affair. So here is the shade Blush Lightly. And then here is the shade Affair. I will be keeping both of these. I do really like these and holy cow, these are very long wearing. If you're looking for a long wearing lip liner, look no further, these will not budge. Let's also do the Charlotte Tilbury ones because I know they're not gonna be going anywhere. Spoiler alert, I have the shades Pillow Talk and then Iconic Nude. So here is Pillow Talk. And then here is Iconic Nude. This one needs to be sharpened. I do actually use both of these, so they're going to stay and I really like them. I haven't used, I don't have, or I haven't used any of the Pat McGrath lip liners, but I am curious about how those work. But until we get through some of these, we're not gonna purchase more. 
Let's go through these Kylie Cosmetics because that, I have a feeling, is going to be a bulk of the declutter of all these, all these, all these, all these. Okay. So, this one is the shade Malibu. Of course, I had to start with that one. I am going to keep this one. This is the only liquid lip that I ended up keeping from her. So, I do want to hang on to this one. This is the shade Mary. It's dried out like it actually was like in the little down here in the little stick thing. So this one can go. Here we have Posey K. This one's the same thing as Mary. So clearly dried out. You can see I had to like shake it to get it out. So that one can go. These are so old. This one is Coco K. I did like this one, but needs to go. It's just, yep, see, completely, completely done. This one is Leo. I'm surprised that the, the Malibu one wasn't like this. It was actually just fine. So there's Leo. That one's gonna go. This is Kirsten, Kristen. I'm not sure. This one's actually not bad. But I don't wear shades like this. It's gonna go. I really only wear a lip liner if I'm wearing something like out. This is the shade Bare. And it's like a nude. I might keep this because it's a nude. And it doesn't look like it's broken. So this one can stay. This one is Candy K. Ooh, and there it goes. Put this back in just for swatching purposes. But clearly needs to go. There is Candy K. This one is exposed. This one, I don't even think I ever used once. That's a shame. I didn't actually really like that shade. It's just too brown nude for me. So there's exposed. It's gonna go. This one is coconut. I guess I should have not worn a sweatshirt. Coconut, I'm deciding. Coconut seems like it's okay. It doesn't smell bad, so I'm gonna keep it for now. And then if I, just, depending on where we're at with numbers, I might get rid of that one. We will see. These two are exactly the same, and I'm pretty sure I got them for free. They are the... Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Lip Pencil in the shade Rose. Are these both rose? They sure are. So it looks like this. I'm going to swatch it for you. It's not a bad color. I like the color, but there's no reason that I need two of these. So I'm going to... Hmm, I'm going to keep the used one and declutter the one that's never been used because I can probably give that to someone. All right, I have some ColourPop ones. There are these four. Let's go over them. This is not a lip liner. This is a gel liner. Okay, we're going to do it anyways. That's broken. So <laughs> you didn't even see me swatch it, of course. So that one is Mr. Bing. And it actually belongs in the liners. The gel liner from ColourPop usually dry out pretty quickly, but this one is actually still good. So it's gonna go over with my eyeliners. This one is in the shade Skimpy. And it's that same thing with the Kylie's, like you can just see like, not really great. I think that there was like a rumor that they were manufactured in the same lab. No idea, can't speak on that. That's gonna go. This one is the shade Lumiere. It's kind of this purpley color, which is why I never wore it. And it can go. I was gonna keep it because it swatched nice, but I'm not gonna wear it. And then last one from ColourPop is Frickin' Frack, which is more of like a dark plummy color. 
So mm, that's also gonna go, don't need it, don't want it. All right, I think we have three from Bite Beauty because this one is from Mac. Well, let's just do this Mac one. This one is in Whirl. I had this when I shot my stash and I love this pencil. I use it all the time, so I will be keeping this. These Bite Beauty ones, these are their old ones before they like reformulated and I think now they're going out of business. So, and I barely got any use out of them. I don't think that they have shade names. I think they just have numbers. So this one is in the shade eight. It's a very light pink. Never gonna use that ever. This one is in the shade 62. We're running out of room here. Also very light pink. I think I bought these online and like I just kind of went off of what they had left because they were all on sale. And then this one's in the shade 20, which is why I don't have colors that I would necessarily wear. This one I would wear though, and I'm gonna keep it. That one can stay. All right, five left. We have two from Dior. So these are two different ones. One is like a lip pencil, and then one is like a one that screws up. This one is in 267 Glossy Pink. I actually did use this a lot. It's more creamy, especially for being a pencil. And this one's actually like needs to be sharpened because I used it, not because of the Kylie where it just was falling on the inside. So I do wanna hang on to this and I didn't keep any really in this color. And then this one is more of a lip liner that looks like this, that twists up. This one is in the shade 436 Caramel and it looks like this. I, this one does not smell great, so I'm going to declutter it as much as I want to keep it. It just is expired now. We have three left. So this one is the Tarte Amazonian Lip Liner in Berry. It looks like this. Stay with me, folks. I will never wear a color like this ever. So it is going to go. This next one is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. It looks like this. Mm, I'm gonna keep this one. I think that that's a nice color. It doesn't smell off, so it can stay. And the last one is a NYX pencil in Slip Rose. And let's see if I can find some room. And it looks like this, but I'm not gonna wear that, will I? Mm, it can stay. I'm gonna keep it because maybe if I pair it with like a gloss or something that's nude, it won't be too bad. I feel pretty good about these. My key pile and here is my declutter pile. And then if you remember, one of these was not a, not a lip liner, it was an eyeliner. So it brought our starting count from 29, sorry, from 30 to 29. And my declutter numbers, surprising to say, we have 14 that we're keeping and 15 we're decluttering. So I exactly did half and half, really happy with those numbers. And then hopefully we'll just get some more use out of these. These are just gonna go. And I don't know if I can really organize these in here to make the... Normally I fast forward because I like seeing all the, the organization like other people do, but that's not gonna happen, folks, because it just looks weird. Can I do it sideways? I guess I could switch the camera, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we're gonna reorganize this. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. For now, let's move on to the next category. All right, next up, I kind of have my box of eyeliners, mascara, and eyebrow stuff. I'm not gonna be doing numbers on this because I've, I've really gotten better at just only having what's opened in this box. And then everything else that is unopened, I keep separately. I'm trying to work through these until I have gone through most of them and then I'll start integrating new products. The, the new products box is overflowing. So we're just gonna kind of dump this out. I probably won't swatch 
any of it. Mostly we're just gonna be seeing if anything is dry, if there's anything I wanna get rid of. We'll just start with this ColourPop eyeliner. This is in Mr. Bing. I had this in my lip liner drawer, so it's going to stay. It is not bad. This, I think I feel like a lot of people had. I wanna say I got this in like a birch box or something. This is a gel eyeliner in black from Pretty Vulgar. I don't, like, I'm not really a fan. You can see that I attempted to use this. First of all, I don't really use black eyeliner. Second, this pot is cute in theory. I mean, it still works. Do I wanna get rid of this? Oh, there's something wrong with me. Okay, let's put this to the side real fast and just look at our liners. Cause here's the Kat Von D. And like, I feel like that's still good though. Okay, this can stay. This is the Dior Gel Eyeliner in black. I mean, this is still good too. Okay, this one's fine. There might not be that much decluttering. It's just gonna be whatever is dry because I did go through this. It is a Maybelline black pencil. This one's still really creamy too. Dang. Okay, the problem is, as I mentioned, I don't use black. This is a by Terry one in some kind of brown. It's like a very, very dark, rich brown. I'm gonna keep this. This is not that old. It needs to be sharpened. Let's just do that right now. This is my Charlotte Tilbury pencil in Pillow Talk. This is really my only colored liner, so it is going to stay. This is my, let's see, Ciate London Fierce Flick. Does it have like a, okay, now it's just, like, is it double ended or what is this? This is kind of shiny. I think that that Ciate one can go. It's not dried out, but like the fact that I have two liquid eyeliner pencils just blows my mind. This Marc Jacobs one, I already know is dried out. I try to use it. I was gonna pull it in for a shot in my stash and it like completely broke. So that can also go. I think that's all the eyeliners, I think. So let's just keep going through these. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in brown. I just opened this, so I know that it's still good. Same with this Benefit one. This is the Tinted Primer. I use this on like no makeup days. It's kind of just like a very brown, almost kind of like gives a your lashes but better look. It doesn't really look like you're wearing mascara. I love this. And then this is just a mini of the Stila Huge. This is my favorite mascara, I think. I don't think that there's any other ones so far that I've liked better than that. And then this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. This is, I'm sure, dried out. I mean, meh, but I don't really use primers, so I don't know why I have this. That can go. And then we're kind of just left with eyebrow stuff, I think. This is just my eyelash curler, so that can stay. We'll put that aside. This Kosas eyebrow gel, I just opened. This can stay. This is the Brow Stylist Boost and Set by L'Oreal. I, let's see. This actually still feels really wet. This can stay. The Tarte one, the Double Duty something i guess i should do it like on my on my arm hairs <laughs> see how that works okay that seems fine this one i got in the philippines this is from sunny's face and my god if this isn't like the most long wearing let's see if i can do it it like is the most thickening eyebrow gel ever it's almost like a tubing eyebrow gel. It is insane. And it like, it just, this is a great product. It's like I said, it's from Sunny's Face. I try not to buy a lot of stuff when I was in the Philippines because I'd have to bring it back. But this was like one of the things that I ended up getting. This is from Inspire. This is a double, double brow lighter, something like that. Um, I'm gonna declutter this. This is one of those things. I think again, I got in like a boxy charm or something like that. And I told myself I need to have, I've never used it so it can go. And then these are all brow pencils. So let's see what's dried out of this. This one is from Ofra. 
think I got this in like a mystery bag. I'm never gonna use that, it's way too stiff. This Morphe one, that's not my color. Is this an eyebrow pencil or is it? Okay, there's no way that this is an eyebrow pencil. I think this is a, a liner, but I'm gonna get rid of it either way. I haven't used it, I don't even know what it is. The Maybelline Master Brow, I bought this in the Philippines because I ran out of my Anastasia and I was desperate. It is so dry though. It was dry when I got it. Pretty sure it was just sitting on the shelf and it was already expired when I got it. So that's gonna go. And then this ColourPop one, really hate this click pen. Just as a side note, don't know if they fixed that. This is pretty dark for my brows too. I tend to, I use medium brown in the Anastasia and that's just really dark. So that is also gonna go. So here is our box. These are all liners. I'm gonna keep this black one because why not? The mascara is gonna put here and then I only have gel liners so we can start to open up brow pencils soon. A little liner will go there and that's what this looks like now. So like I said, it wasn't ever gonna be like a really big declutter. This is what we're getting rid of. Not terrible, I guess, but could be worse. This is all going in the trash because they are just dried and gross. All right, I've been dreading doing this one, but we're gonna do it. These, we're gonna do brushes. We're just gonna do these in sections because I can't really show you the way I have my brushes set up. I will show you how they're set up at the end of this video, but for now, this is gonna have to do. These are the ones that I keep in my cup on my desk, so the ones that I use all the time or you know the most. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of these probably, but I will go through them very quickly just so you know which ones I have have the Rare Beauty foundation brush. I'll probably wash these after. I really like the shape of this. I don't typically use a brush for foundation. However, this one is really nice. This one I use for bronzer. As you can see, it's just a MAC stippling brush. I'm not sure the number of it because it's kind of, it's kind of faded off there. This one I use for blush. This is another MAC one. Numbers faded off, couldn't tell you, but I do really like it. This one is a Sonia G. This is from the Lotus set, and I think they just restocked it too. So if you were thinking about getting it, you should go get it. I love this. This is the Detail Cheek Brush. I use this for powdering. Really, really like this. This one has a little label on it in case you're wondering what that is because not all of real animal hair brushes can be used with creams. So I have the ones that cannot be used with creams labeled just so that way I don't forget and accidentally ruin a super expensive brush. We have this spoolie, nothing to say here. I think I got this in a boxy charm because it's by Aesthetica and I would never purchase from them. I have no idea, I've never heard that brand. I also have this liner brush and this one I am gonna declutter. It's just such a thick liner brush and I don't, I think I just used it for black when I was doing the declutter for that. I don't ever do liner that thick, so this one can go. This is just a Morphe highlighting brush. I can't see again the label on here. Sorry, it's faded. That's not very helpful, is it? But it's just a little highlighting brush. And then let's see, Morphe brushes. This one, oops. This one I also really enjoy. This is the R39. I like that this one is kind of stiff. It's not very soft. You know, everyone always talks about how soft brushes are. This one's not that. It's a little scratchy. And it reminds me of this MAC one that I have that I can't. I'm trying to just see if I can eyeball it and look for it. But I don't see it. I'll just mention it when we come across it. it reminds me of that, but it's less old. So that's why I use this. This one I got in a boxy charm or something like that for sure. I cannot read the label, but it's just a fluffy brush. I use this usually for in my crease. Sometimes I'll use it for nose contour. This is a rougher brush, the number 23. I'll use this to smudge out eyeliner. So I use that one quite a bit. This is a MAC 230, I don't know. It's a flat shader brush. That's usually what I use it for. No description there. 
This is a Sonia G Soft Concealer. I actually use this when I am doing foundation swatches on my arm. I find that it's really good to just get even swatches for that. So that's why it's in my like most used little cup that I have on my desk because I do use it quite often. Then the last three, I know everyone shits on like the Anastasia brushes that used to come in their palettes, but I actually really like this. I use this, uh, this one quite often. Again, it's kind of scratchy and for some reason I just really like that. And then I use this side for under my eye all the time. So this can stay. Here we have a Morphe 149. I use this to blend out eyeshadow under my eye or even to smudge out eyeliner. And then this is a ColourPop E1. They kind of renamed their brushes so I'm not really sure what's going on with this. But this is kind of just like a smaller fluffy brush. I don't really know what the technical terms are, everyone. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional, but I use this for my eyeballs. So let's just dump these out and see if we can get rid of some so I can actually use more brushes because I don't end up using any of these because it's kind of overwhelming. First one, let's get rid of this. This is the Sephora VIB Rouge. Got this when you when you turn rouge. I never use this because it's just so small. I hate it, so it's going to go. All right, let's go over like all of these because I have quite a few of them. They're all just these plastic shaders. This one was from Pure. It can go. I don't like how it's small. I think I'm going to keep one is from Sigma and then one is from NYX. I'm just deciding because I like that this is double-ended, but I also hate that it's double-ended. Do I need the double-ended one? I'm going to keep the NYX one just because I have more options and declutter this Sigma one. This is a Luxie brush. It's the number 250. It's a large eye blending brush. You're gonna notice a common theme. Just, I have smaller eyes, I have hooded eyes. So a lot of these that we declutter are just gonna be because they're too big for my eyes. And this is one of them. This one's gonna go. It's just, I mean, it's larger than my thumbnail. It can go. This is just another spatula, but this is more for getting product out of just containers that maybe you're trying to get the last bit of. So I'm gonna keep this. I don't know if I count this as a brush, but just wanted to get this out of the way here. I'll grab some that I'm gonna declutter because we have a lot of brushes to go through. I'm gonna declutter all these three. This one's just too big. This Wet n Wild one, I have other just crease brushes I enjoy more. And then this Tarte one, I hate the handle and I have other flat shaders that I enjoy more. I wanna not keep just the same type of brush if I already have one that I'm using. So all those can go. I have another one of these Anastasia Beverly Hills double-ended brushes. I probably have some in the palettes too, but for this one I have just outside of it. I'm gonna declutter it because I don't need more than one and I have a feeling I still have more than one and it's just not in my brush pile. This one is from the Dose of Colors little five pan palettes. I actually really enjoy this brush too. Really like I'll use this one under the eye and then I'll use this to kind of blend it out. So this one is going to stay. This one again is gonna go. It's just, it's a cute handle, but like I never use it. And it also just feels really flimsy and cheap. These three Morphe ones, so I have the Y16, I have the Y17 and the Y18. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Y16 and Let's see, I'm just trying to decide. I think I'm also gonna get rid of the Y17, but the Y18 can stay. I think it's small enough that it'll be okay. These are all kind of the flat shader brushes that I have in this pile here. So this one is from BoxyCharm. It's large, it can go. Contrary, this one's super tiny, so it can stay. This MAC one, this is the 213. Um, I'm gonna keep this one just because I do like my MAC brushes and that can stay. Then these two, whatever this is, vintage something, it came in like a boxy charm. This can go, won't use that. And this Sigma one, this is for eye cream. I actually think this is gonna stay. I haven't had a chance to really use a lot of my Sigma brushes because they've just been 
collecting like there it's just overpowering having all these brushes and not using them so i'm gonna see now that i'm paring down my collection if i can use some of my sigma brushes more this one's just kind of sticking out this is the morphe 164 i bought this because of a video i saw with jacqueline hills she would kind of take powder and then bake right by her eye to like clean up the edge and that's actually a really good trick i do really like doing that with this brush so it is going to stay and then we have a lot of these just kind of black blending brushes. Let's go through this Sigma Tapered Blending E40. This one, this one can stay. This is also really small, so this can probably stay. Detail Diffusion Crease from Sigma, I like that. This is the Morphe M505, this one can go. This is the Morphe M411. I do actually really like, this is kind of different. It has like a point to it. I do really like this one. This is the MAC 224. Um, again, it kind of has like that scratchy feel. And I know I said I was gonna keep a lot of my MAC brushes, but this one I really, I don't really use this one. So I think it's gonna go. And then this is the Diffusion, Diffuse Crease from Sigma. Do I have the same one? Is it just different? Detail Diffuse Crease and then Diffused Crease. Okay, one's a little bit smaller. Um, I think I can keep both of these. This one is the M429 from Morphe. It's kind of like a stippling brush. I don't even know what you would do with this. So it's just gonna go, I never used it. All right. You all probably aren't going to notice. However, I am going to take a little bit of a break. My dogs will not stop barking. I know, I feel like I say this in every single video, but they're clearly not stopping. They need some attention. And sometimes, you know, like you just gotta know when to fold them. So clearly they are telling me it is break time for me. I will be back. You won't even notice. However, like if things shift and change, that is why. See you in about three seconds. Okay, we're back. Let's see how long this lasts. I don't have high hopes. Okay, let's just get started. Um, let's do all these like little ones. Yeah, these ones. Okay, these are all, these are all for the most part Sigma. So I have a E27 from Sigma, a detail blending. This is small, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Sigma Firm Blender E44. Um, I'm also gonna keep it. Again, I think I mentioned this, but I did like a huge order from Sigma and I haven't been able to use a lot of these brushes. So I kind of want to get rid of the old, bring in the new. This is a Morphe E17. I think I can get rid of this one. This is like, I prefer to keep this what is this? Sigma E42. It's a little bit smaller. So I think we can get rid of this Morphe one. Keep this Sigma one. Let's do all these purple handle ones, shall we? Maybe if I don't fling it around. This is the Sigma Concealer F70. I actually do want to keep this. It kind of looks like a really great one for cut creases. Not that I've ever done a cut crease. I do want to try though. So I'm going to keep it for that reason. This is the large shader, the E60 from Sigma. This I definitely do not keep. My eye is probably this big, so it would cover my entire eye. It's just too large for that. This is a medium angled shading, an E70. Um, I think I will actually keep this one. Maybe I like that it's angled. It's kind of a different shape from what I have. So this can stay. Let's just do the rest of these. Trust me, there are more, <laughs> but I think these are most of the high ones. So we're not doing too bad. This is Aesthetica, kind of like a liner brush. I don't like this. I don't like how it's bent kind of like that. I only need one liner brush and it's not this one. This is the Sigma eyeliner, the EO5. See, so I would prefer this one if I can get the little, get the little plastic off. So this looks much better. I like that it's stiffer, a lot more firm. So this one is going to stay. 
We have the MAC 266. I don't have any angled brushes like this, so this one's gonna stay. I like that this is just a lot more of a thin tip. So that one's going to stay. This one, surprisingly, so this is the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I think I got this in a boxy charm, but I actually use this to smudge out liner. It's kind of like a small shader, but I like that the bristles are really short. So I use it to kind of just smudge along my lash line. So that one is going to stay. This pencil brush from MAC, no idea what the number is, super faded, but I am going to keep it. I don't know if I have any other pencil brushes, but it's going to stay. This, I have no idea what to use this for. What's this say? Detail Concealer F71. It's interesting. I kind of, I'm intrigued by it. So it's also going to stay. And then these two are going to stay as well. They're just really tiny brushes. I don't have ones the shape and they are going to stay. This is, let's see, we have the Morphe 212 and then the Sigma Precise Lip Liner. Both of these are going to stay. All right, here's more brushes. These are more just face brushes. So right off the bat, these two Tarte ones, I've gotten rid of all the other ones. I just don't like these handles. They feel cheap. And just on top of that, these shapes I don't really go for. I know I have other brushes that have kind of this shape here and I'll be keeping those. And this one I was kind of iffy about, but I never reach for this. So both of these can go. This is the Morphe Y6 brush. This was really popular for foundation for quite a while. However, I just prefer the Rare Beauty one and there's other foundation ones I wanna keep like this It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. It's shaped like a little heart. It's very cute. I will be keeping this one and this one can go. Let's pull, kind of just like pulling kind of the handles here. These two are both Luxie brushes. So I have the Duo Fiber Powder and then the Taper Highlight. I actually like both of these. Luxie brushes are, are pretty good. So I'm gonna keep both of them. I like them. I like that this is tapered. This might be good for bronzer as well as my stippling brush that I have. And it's just a little bit smaller. So maybe I'll give that a shot. And I like this for under eye powder is really great. These two are basically identical. One is the Morphe R14 and one is the M3, the M530, sorry. One is just a little bit stiffer. This one has more bristles. It's again, stiffer. This one is a little bit more flimsy. I prefer flimsier brushes. So I am going to keep the 530 and I'm going to declutter the R14. I don't need both. Let's pull these Smashbox ones. God, these were so expensive for brushes. At the time when I bought these, this was like a huge splurge for me. So you have kind of like a fan brush. I don't think I have any other fan brushes, so I am going to keep this one. And then this one is the Cream Cheek. And I do like this brush. I think I'm going to keep it. My only complaint about these Smashbox brushes is that the handles are so long. I just wish that they were a lot shorter. It makes it really hard. I'm always hitting against the mirror with these brushes. That's my only con. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I do. Let's do these clear ones. And then that way we only have black handles left. I think this is the Jaclyn Hill one that came Yes, so this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. I think this released with her highlighting collection. I do like this. It's kind of, of a fan brush. It's similar to, where's that one brush? It's similar to this Morphe brush, but a little bit flatter. I am going to keep this. I brought this with me from Arizona, so I haven't had time to use it yet. It is going to stay. And then this, I have no idea what this even is. This must have come with something. No idea, it can go. And let's just tackle the rest of these one by one. So this, oops, I'm making a huge mess. I guess I don't have to hold them all. This is a MAC brush. It's so worn off. I can't see any of the numbers. I'm not even gonna guess. 
I typically would keep most of my MAC brushes, but this one just sheds like nobody's business. I always get black stuff on me. I keep using it and then I hate myself for it because I always have just like black shards all over my face. So I think this one's past its time. It just needs to go. This one is another MAC one. I don't know which one, but I do love this one. I use this for cream contour sometimes, and I, I just love this. I love this shape. It's similar to this one, but a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna keep both. Here we have the Morphe E7. So this is just a angled flat top brush. You could use it for foundation, contour, whatever. I never use this, so it can go. Then we have here the e.l.f. Putty Blush brush. I got this, again, like a stippling brush. I wanna say Samantha Ravendahl said this brush was awesome. I brought this from Arizona, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So it is going to stay. Here we have the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki, the F79. Um, Do I need this? It's kind of similar to this Luxie one. I'm gonna keep it because again, I haven't had a chance to like use any of my Sigma brushes that I bought. And so let's just see if I can get some use out of it. I'm also gonna keep these two. This is the large angled contour, the F40, and the Kabuki, this is the 4D HD. I kinda just wanted it for the shape. Haven't used either of these, so we're gonna see if I can find a way to use them and love them. If not, they will be in the next declutter. We have more, we have more. Okay, starting to run out of room here. This is just a spatula, this doesn't count. That will go with the other ones. So I have, let's do these two because they're both stippling brushes. This is a MAC small stippling brush and then a Sigma small duo, duo fiber. I know this is probably repetitive, but I think these are different enough where I can keep both. I really just enjoy stippling brushes. I think that they're underrated and I like them a lot. So they are going to stay. Something that can go are these ColourPop ones. So I have the F12 and the F5. I don't use either of these. So I think that they can go. We have a few kind of just domed brushes. So let's go over these. This is the Morphe Y10. I'm not really sure. I can't see myself using this. I think I have brushes that are similar. So this one can go. This is the Luxie Precision Foundation. This is an interesting foundation brush. I like the Luxie brushes, so it's going to stay. And then this is an unnamed brush. I don't know, I feel like it's a Morphe brush, but it doesn't have a name. And I think based on having this one and then having this one, yeah, I think this one can go. Let's look at this one. This is the Angled Cream Contour, the F61. This is interesting. Again, I haven't used a lot of my Sigma, so it's going to stay just because I think it's kind of cool looking. This MAC one is the 227. It's like a large shader brush. I never use this. It's way, way too big for my eyes. I don't even know. I mean, maybe you could use it as concealer, but these black bristles, again, just like this powder brush, it flakes all the time. So it's going to go. And then we have a bunch of these like angled brushes. I don't know why I have so many, but I don't know if I wanna get rid of any of them. This one kind of has like the, it's like a mountain. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like angled on both sides. This just says it's precision. I kind of want to keep it because it's cool looking. This one is a precision flat angle. Um, and then this is a highlight, highlight diffuser. I kind of want to declutter one of these. I think I should. I think I'm gonna declutter the smaller one and keep this one. And then these two, well, actually, now I'm second guessing myself. Because I have like small, medium, big. So should I keep like small and big? 
This is the Bake Precision. Oh, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna keep these two and declutter that other one. And then this one is a precise highlighter. So like a highlighting brush. I like the Smashbox brushes again. They were, I just remember spending so much money on them when I didn't have a lot of money. So this one's going to stay. All right, we are nearing the end. Let's just run through this. This is the NARS Ida brush. I was suckered into buying this brush. It's way overpriced and I can't get rid of it because that would feel like they won. So it's going to stay. This is the Birch Box something. I don't know, but I hate this brush. Never used it. These two big fluffy domes. I mean, this is the G0. I never use this brush. I feel like I should keep it because like it's the biggest brush I own. I'm going to put it in the maybes. And then this one is an It Cosmetics brush. This I just got, I brought it back from Arizona, so I am gonna keep it, just deciding like, I don't know because my gut tells me not to keep this brush. But do I listen to my gut ever? No, this one's gonna say, this one's gonna stay in the maybes. This is an Artiste brush, just the standard, I don't remember which one, but it's their standard, eight one I don't remember it's gonna stay the only thing I don't like about this I actually really like it for foundation but it is a bitch to clean it just is always hard to get the foundation out of all the crevasses of this I hate it but it does apply your foundation beautifully this was hyped up and I think it was for good reason I really liked it when it was popular we have two of these angled brushes. So we have the Accentuate Highlighter and the Emphasis Contour. So the F57 and the F56. One's just bigger than the other. And I think that I only wanna keep the smaller one. So I'm going to keep the F56. I think that's what that says. And I'm gonna declutter the 57. I don't think I need this. I have two, just like your standard foundation brushes. I use this MAC one like nobody's business. I used to love this brush so much. It's hard for me to get rid of it. And then I also have this Luxie 510 foundation brush. This one is more dense and this one just has less bristles to it so I do think I'm going to keep both even though I can't remember the last time I used this type of foundation brush but maybe I should give it a shot and try maybe 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 I'm going to keep both and then we have just a few more and then I have one more bucket so this is the Smashbox this is like a Buildable Cheek. I actually use this all the time. Right now I've been using this MAC one for blush, but usually I would use this for blush. I love this, it's gonna stay. And then this one is a sheer powder brush. I actually use this quite a bit as well. I just prefer these wispier brushes. I, I don't know how many times I can say the same thing, but I just do. I feel like I can control the product more. It's more buildable that way. It's just what I prefer. So it's going to stay. And then this is a powder foundation. And this is very unique. It's very dense in the center there. And then it has like all these stipple brushes around it. I am going to keep it. I don't use it often, but it's something unique enough that I think it should stay in my collection just in case. And then this is the Aesthetica P12, and this can go. Like I, I decluttered all these brushes from this brand that I probably got in a, a boxy charm or something like that, so it's gonna go. So these are the last of my brushes. These are kind of all my natural haired brushes. This is the MAC 1, 163. This is a MAC 163. Where's that other contour one? Um, Since this one's like a flat top, I think I'm gonna keep it because I did declutter that other flat top and then I decluttered this one. So I think this MAC one can stay Again, I don't use it very often, but I would like to just keep it because it is a good brush. 
And then spoiler alert, I don't even know if it's worth going over any of these. I have the Lotus set from Sonia G. And then I want to say this was like the Fusion set. And then I have this set from Refer. I don't know which set it was, but it was the one that was like geared towards smaller hooded eyes. So I have those. And then this is some kind of Mac brush and I can't get rid of it. It's just that standard small, just pokey brush that I, I for some reason love to poke my little eyelids with it. And it's going to also stay. So that just brings us to this maybe brush, which it just needs to go. This is not that big of a deal. Like this is a Morphe brush. If I want to repurchase it, I can. So it's going to stay. And that leaves us with all the brushes. So let me do some counting and I will put up final numbers in just a second. Okay, that took me a second to count. So numbers, we started with 116 brushes. I can't believe I had that many, but okay. And we are keeping 79 and decluttering 37. And I wish it was a little bit better, but I know that a lot of these are, like I said, the Sigma brushes that I haven't had a chance to even use yet. So we'll probably do another brush declutter probably towards the end of the year. Let's see if I can get just some thoughts on some of these and then that way we can kind of really hone that down more. I don't think, you know, for someone who loves makeup, I don't think that this is a lot of brushes. For someone who wears makeup, it probably is. It just depends on who you are. I'm happy with this number. I'm much happier, you know, decluttering almost 40. So now maybe I can give some love to ones that I just never see because they're just, it's so just constricted and cluttered, even though I have them organized. So yeah, that is the end of brushes. Let's, I'm gonna just do setting sprays super quick. It's gonna, it's probably just a waste of time, but we're, but we're gonna do the setting sprays just because it's part of like this little quad that I have going on here. And then that way I can rearrange them all and show you the finished setup for setting sprays. So hang tight. Let's jump over to that. Okay, like I said, this is this is my setting sprays. This is gonna be super easy. I'm not gonna go over the one that I have in Shop My Stash. This is the little container that I use. And in it, I have two Chanel brushes just because they're really short. They don't really fit in with my other brushes. These are my setting sprays that I have that are open. And then this is my fan, it's plain. I use it to dry off my setting spray, but I got it in the Philippines and it's a happy memory for me. So I keep it in here with the setting sprays. And then let's just go over these. I have the Pixie Vitamin Makeup Mist. I love this, this can stay. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. This can also stay. The Urban Decay All Nighter. This is just a small travel one. This can stay. And then this, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna tell you because why not? I like to embarrass myself. I have a habit, like if this was like this full, like if it had just like 10% of it left, I will dump it in here. So this is like actually a mix of like four different setting sprays. And for some reason I put in like a shimmer setting spray and I kind of use it, you know, like to wet my sponges or to wet my brush or just kind of like a mishmash of setting sprays. I don't necessarily use it on my face, just more for mixing. But then once I put this shimmer one in here, it kind of just, it kind of went to shit. So this is going to leave. So I am gonna fill some of the ones that I have that are unopened in here, just because I think like I've kind of gotten this to a good spot. And then I'm gonna rearrange my brushes and then show you this whole module thing. And I'm gonna have it all set up for you. So we are going to pan over to that footage. All right, so here's kind of what we're working with. It's the best I can do for now. Here, I'm gonna put this on my desk. It's just here to kind of just show you, but here are the lip liners. And then these are all things from Shop My Stash. So I have 
like my lip products, I have eyebrows, eyeliner, and then mascara. So this is gonna stay on my desk because I don't foresee these products switching out that often. Here we have the setting sprays. So you can see I added a few more in there. So we have a little bit more variety. Then we have brushes. So these are all my natural haired. These are kind of like small cheek. Then we have larger cheek, foundation, and eye pencils. I don't necessarily love this. I think that I might either get like more of these or one like this so it kind of matches on both sides. I'm not really sure yet. And then this is just the cup that I've always had on my desk of like my most used brushes. Again, this sits on my desk, but my sister got me this cup for Christmas. It's me and her. I'm sure everyone's seen the ad on Facebook, but the handle broke and I figured I might as well use it as a, as a brush holder. So here it is. This is so much better. I know it still looks, I mean, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's just so much less cluttered. I just, these rougher things seem good in theory. It's just hard to see the brushes and I need to find a better system. If you can let me know in the comments how you store your brushes, if it's like a good system for you, because the main thing is I just don't use them because it's such a pain in the ass to like find the one that I want. I don't remember the one that I want. So I don't know. If you have ideas, leave them down below so I can, I can consider them and maybe look at something better. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring with just like the random things, but these needed to get decluttered. I haven't done them in my entire life. I don't think I've ever decluttered brushes, maybe like here or there, but never like sat down and really looked at them. So that is that. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.